Nutrient Equine, Standard Breed Sale, Melbourne, April 14. I'm here at Dunroman Standard Breeds. Hello, Jane Hearn. Hi, Paul. You've got to talk to your own microphone. I actually yeah, yeah, I've upgraded. <laughs> uh, thanks for having me here. Um, four horses in this year's sale, but before we get on to those horses, one, how are you enjoying it? Uh, yeah, good, good. Um, it, it's been a really busy season for us, just um, for a lot of reasons outside of um, the horses, but um, I, I love having four in. It's awesome. You love the yearlings too, don't you? You enjoy doing oh, it? I do like the yearlings, yeah. I think um, I like quite like the timing of this sale because you have a chance to sort of, um, well, in previous years, this year perhaps not, but um, you've got a chance to, to wrap up the season a little bit. So, you you know, you finish the foaling, you're tail-ending the breeding, you get a chance to actually enjoy doing yearlings rather than, you know, them coming in early and everything's going on at once and you're just, you know, trying to survive. Uh, absolutely. Mm. What we might do? Jane's uh, Jane Johnny has um, joined us, which is good. Um, we've uh, had the yearlings. We'll do a little bit of uh, a, you know a showcase, if you like, of those, and we'll come back and have a bit of a wrap at the end of it. Awesome. Hi, right, Johnny. First uh, horse we're going to um, highlight for you guys here today is lot number one seventy nine. This is a Lenny the Shark out of the safely kept mare in Angel of Music. Um, what a cracker! He is an absolute cracker of a type, isn't he? Yeah, he is a nice. He's a nice colt. He's well built. He's um, he's getting there. He was a little bit standoffish when he first came into the barn, but um, he's as the preparation's gone on, he's just got better and better. Um, you know, and then the angel of music, like she's left. Cheers, big ears. Who won 18 races in South Australia and attack and rhythm won five. Um, and then you go back to the second dam, which is Gillette. She's the mother of He's Rosa Sharp, who won 223,000 and had five other winners, I think. Um, and then you go down to the third dam, which is Black Debate, you know, Helen Heads, one of Helen's um, foundation mares, you know, and, and that's just a super family. So, um, yeah, he, he, he's a nice cult, so... Yeah, absolutely, yeah. that's that um, Johnny Yeoman's family, that last lot of family there as well. So, yeah, that's right. Lenny the Shark's done a great job. I think he's had around the 20 foals on the racetrack. Ten of those have won, so I mean, he's doing a great job there as well. Lenny the Shark, um, he's a beautifully bred horse. We forget about that. Was, we we're having a bit of a giggle, but like Botswana, the job she did, Albert Albert. So, there's pedigree right across there. Yep. And at the end of the day, Look at the type of horse he is. Yeah, he's just no, all race horse. He's, he's one of those. Really, he's really nice type. One of those ones people need to come and have a good inspection of because he's oh, a sure. really real stamp of horse and a real racy type. Yep. That is lot number 179, the Lenny the Shark out of Angel of Music. All right, John, lot number 198 is the Stay Hungry Bay Colt out of the Better's, Better's Delight mare in Better Down Under. What a brilliant mare she was herself. 13 wins um, and $135,000 in stakes. And this is what, her third foal? This is her fir third foal, yes. Um, she had Topsy's Bling. I think Topsy's Bling is back at the trials at the moment. Um, she went around and raced as a two-year-old. The Captain Treacherous, the second foal, we sold at Nutrien last year. It qualified at Melton on Monday night. So hopefully it's getting ready for the Nutrient Classic race. Hopefully, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And, it's and a, it's, this one is a third foal. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's a brilliant foal. It family. is. And it's a really nice family. Yep. And you've got you know. Better's Delight, Albert Albert. You've got, like, um, you got some nice lines there you know, that keep breeding nice horses. Yeah, that's uh, right. And you go back to the second damn Trebler Trebler and like you got Ideal Lifestyle, won 320,000. Kafaji. He's won 163,000. Topsy's Delight, um, she won six races and went 156. And then you got Helen's in Paradise. You know, she um, she's the mother of a common courtesy who's won 102,000, so. And then you've also got the fact of um, Stay Hungry is so far the leading se leading two-year-old so, so far this season. I think yeah, he's, exactly. He's and had like, seven individual two-year-old winners so far, which yeah, is huge. Yeah, it's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, yeah so doing yeah. great. Like, he's a nice, balanced little colt. Yep. He's, well, a he's, little not, bit. he's not little, but he's a nice, balanced yeah. colt, isn't he? Well, yeah. he is, yeah. yeah. No, he's not little. He, he, you know, he's, yeah, he, he's got a good body, and he'll, he'll grow into a nice-sized two-year-old. That's lot number 198, the Bay Colt by Stay Hungry, out of Better Down Under. Lot 243 now, John, is the Bay Colt by the uh, Tall Dark Stranger. Her first season as yearlings being offered up here out of the Metropolitan Mayor in Har Helens in Paradise. Another one out of that same Trebler Trebler family. Yeah, that's correct. Um, like she had two wins herself. Uh, has left common courtesy, has done a good job. She's had seven wins and $100,000. 
Um, Joe got rolled as a roll with Joe. He's had two wins. And then you go back to Trebler Trebler and we've just spoken about her. And then you go down to the third dam and dash a class like he was a really nice horse in New South Wales. He won 175,000, nearly 176. So um, it's a really nice family. No, it, it, it is indeed. It is. And you, like, you go back to its motor power. Yep. You know, like we're going a long way back there, but showing our like age, yeah. we're showing our age, mate. Yep. Um, tall dark stranger too, though. We we're just saying there off air, like a son of better delight with that art major cross, ticks all of the boxes over here, and um, you know they've been very, very well received this year, and this colt's going to be a must look for a lot of people. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, no, for sure. Yep. That's lot number two forty three, the tall dark stranger at a Helen's in Paradise. All right, Johnny, lot 348, the last of your draft um, for this year's sale is the Sweet Lou Colt out of the Better Than Cheddar Mare, Topsy's Delight. She was a good mare herself. She won six and 41,000 in stakes. And um, again, that same Trebler, Trebler family. But hasn't he thrown to Lou this horse? He has. Type and, and looks. Yeah, he has. He, and he's a, nice, he's a nice man to go with it. He, um, you know, like he's the second foal out of the mare. The first one is the Captain Crunch filly, which we sold at Nutrient last year. Um, and she's qualified, and I'm pretty sure she's going to get around in the New South Wales heat. Oh, that'll be so next Tuesday, so yeah. that'll be a pretty important update as, as well. Uh, Sweet Lou just doing an amazing job. Um, they're winning everywhere, um, especially like New South Wales. They absolutely love him, but he's really stamping himself now as a as a super sire of harness racing here in Australia. He is, yeah, no, that's correct. You know, doing a, doing and, a, and he's a really nice type, this horse. Yep, and we mentioned there before about Trebler Trebler. Um, she's had 10 foals, seven the race, seven winners, six of those inside two minutes, headed up by Ideal Lifestyle, but you've got Kafaji as well, and then better down under another the mare that's represented um, here. It's a, it's a terrific winning family. You've got that Albert Albert dam there with Trebler Trebler. Ticks a lot of crosses. I think the one thing about this horse, he seems to be a beautiful little colt um, to be around looking at it with the way he's playing with Jane just Yeah, he front, is. So. He, he's always the girls. When we brought them in, he, he was a favourite because he was, even right from the first day one, he was just easy to handle. Every, every, all the girls, they could catch him, get him out, you know. He, he's just got a good attitude, so... Yeah, no, nice, nice no, horse. Nice. Yeah. Lot number 348, the last of your draft, the Sweet Lou out of Topsy's Delight. All right, Jane, um, you must be wrapped with how they turned out. Four, four Colts, um, one, beautifully well behaved, the four of them, and easy to operate with, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, no, they have been. They were, um, uh, yeah, they, they have been. They're a really nice bunch. They're sort of fairly uh, even across the board. We've got a couple that are, you know, that have taken a little bit longer just to get their confidence in, and, and take to the system, but um, but yeah, they're nice horses. Uh, Trebler, Trebler figures very heavily um, with three of those horses, but I mean, she's just been a brilliant mare. She's done such a great job um, in the barn. Johnny there, then spoke about it there as well, but just does an awesome job, doesn't she? Oh, she does, she does. And and it's sort of, she's a little bit special to us. Um, Wayne sends her, um, sends, her, sends her the stud to breed. We get her to fall down. So we get a look at these horses as they hit the ground and you've got a chance to sort of look at them, you know, as in their early development um, and then he'll take them home and um, and wean them. I think uh, Monty did some work this year. Um, he obviously was very busy and, and gets behind. So Monty did a little bit of um, handling, did their first bit of handling work and so they've come to us in really good order. And then obviously our two, um, you know, you've had all the way through. And we do like the ones that you have, if you have them from the start, you have control of their upbringing, so well, that's it's really easy. That's what I was going to say. Two of those are Wayne's, um, but the the other filly, the other is Sweet Lou, he's yours, um, yeah. and that's what I mean. You invested in that family heavily now because you've got a you know a financial attachment, if you oh, like, as yeah, well. Absolutely, absolutely. I think um, he the the two maidens came in. Um, we bought um, Topsy's Delight, and and Wayne was breeding from. Uh, Topsy's dancing the same the same season. She's in Queensland now and has, has kicked off her um, breeding career well. Also, um, so yeah, it's um, it's nice to it's nice to be invested in that line. I mean, we think it's a super family. So oh, I agree. So. Um, and then the Lenny the Shark and John and I said about him and his pedigree page is good. There's no problems there. He's a Lenny the Shark. Yep. He's a cracker. Yeah, he, he is that's a cracker. He's a yeah. cool dude and he's a good looking little rooster. <laughs> He is. He's been a little bit, you know, like he, he he's grown out particularly well, and um, and uh, yeah, I mean, he's not, you know, he's not going to sit up the top end of the catalogue. He's going to be, you know, but he's a he's a horse 
we think he's a horse worth looking at. He's he's yeah. a good value for money horse, um, and and he's yeah I think he's a little bit special. He's just a lovely type. I, I agree with that. People need to look at him because he may not be on their radar. They might see Lenny the Shark skip straight to us. Don't do that. Go and have a good look at him because oh. he's he's all racehorse to look at, isn't he? He's the sort of horse you could see going around with the two-year-olds getting qualified at the minute. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And I think we, we've um, again she's. Um, uh, she's been one of our. Um, we've had her right this right from the start. We were actually lucky. We we leased the mare originally off um, Stuart Watt. Um, she was quite a nice little. Showed potential herself. Um, had had chips, I think, which stopped her racing herself. Um, but she, it's a line that we've been invested in. Obviously, working with Helen. Um, yep. You know, we'd had mares out of that black to white line. Um, uh, Tapatinga was one, Cindy Shiraz was one, they were both nice mares. So, um, Tanami Bromax, one of the progeny in that yep. line. So, yeah, it's a really lovely family, and, and yeah, he's been a bit, um, he's been a, a nice horse to work with. No, has indeed. Good to have John back on deck this year or is it or is it a, or is it a problem <laughs> no it was awesome because we wouldn't have got through without him he's um like john's taken up the the bulk this year he's kept things together and um uh you know you're really good to have him back <laughs> we keep him off camera we don't let him go on camera but it was good to have him doing the voiceovers i'm going to get a uh, clip you on the ear in a minute i know that as well uh, jane when you get down there when are you going to be um at oakland junction uh we'll we'll land thursday afternoon um so we'll have them there all day friday and um and obviously so if people want to come down and have a look on Friday, Friday. And be there for the parade Saturday. And, and sale starts and uh, 11 o'clock. I keep going to say 12. Parade yeah. starts 12. Sale starts at 11 o'clock. Um, that's uh, the 13th and 14th. Plus all the races. And you've got to keep an eye on these things too because Johnny was just saying then a couple of qualified. One might be uh, debuting in uh, New South Wales on Tuesday. We don't know if the fields are out yet. Um, and then a couple others potentially at um, Bendigo and Ballarat as well. So yeah, well, yours absolutely. will be Ballarat because the paces are at Ballarat too. We yeah. need people to keep an eye on these, getting ready for those finals as well. So it's an exciting oh, time, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. You know, like we, we'd be, yeah, I mean, what a thrill if you could get Two, two fillies from this this family lining up in the Nutrient Final. I mean, what, how exciting would that be? Yeah, walk tall. That's it. I know, <laughs> I know a few people that do that. It's, it's good just to make those finals. So, yep. Jane, thank you. Um, good luck. I'll, I'll catch you down there at the sales anyway. Yep. But um, awesome. thank you very much. And well done to Johnny, too, for giving a bit of insight behind the scenes. So yeah. thank you very much. No drama. Thank you.